Hi, this is Jeff from Evans Performance Academy. Welcome to Megasquare Basics. In this video, we're going to be taking a look how to create and save a data log as well as retrieve our data log file. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into the video. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look how to create a data log with our Tuner Studio software. It's a really simple process, but it's going to be something really powerful. It's going to allow you to play back the data at any given point of operation for your engine so you can evaluate what's going on. So whether you have a no start condition and you don't understand why your engine isn't starting or if you're doing full throttle pulls on a dyno, you have to take data logs so you can play back that information again at another point in time. So in order to take a data log, we have to go in and load a project. Now we're going to either open our last project, which in my case would be my car, which I showed you how I created in a previous video, or if we have several projects open, maybe this isn't going to be applicable to the box or the project that we're working with. We go into open projects, it's gonna allow us to access other projects. Or if we haven't created a project, we go to here, create new project. Now I showed you how to do that in a previous video, so I'm not gonna go over that right now. I'm gonna go here to open last project to get online with my Megasquare box. Uh, we can see that once I do that, I'm in my online mode. And now I'm ready to take a data log if I choose to do so. So the data logging process is really, really simple. We jump up here to data logging, we can go here to start logging. This is going to initiate that data log to start and that's going to start to capture everything from our Megasquare. So right now I'm going to click start logging and we can see that it automatically pops up with a window here and we're going to have a pre-filled out file name. I'm going to suggest that you just save it as the default file name here. It's going to be a time stamping so that you can go back in chronological order and figure out maybe when you took different data logs. Now, if you're doing a very specific task, maybe doing full throttle tuning on a dyno, you might want to go ahead and label this a custom name, such as dyno pool one, dyno pool two. But in most cases, it just makes sense to leave this timestamp here because again, you can go back and evaluate multiple data logs and figure out exactly when they occurred by just the timestamping alone. So if I click save here, it's going to be showing that data logging down here is going to illuminate green in this box. It's going to be telling me that the data logging is occurring right now. So it's capturing all of the information from my Megasquare. And as long as I want to capture that data, I'm going to keep my data logging on. So if you're in a situation where maybe you don't understand why your engine isn't starting and you have to uh, try to evaluate that, you'd want to capture your data log or start your data log under here and start logging. You'd start your log before you started to crank your engine. And maybe you want to crank your engine for five or 10 or 20 seconds. And then once you're done, you'd go here to stop. Stop data logging will stop it. And then it's going to save that actual file that we were going in and uh, capturing the data with. So I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. We can see once I click stop, data logging uh, goes here from being illuminated green. Now it's grayed out. Uh, telling us that the data logging has stopped. So we're not data logging anymore. So now we've created that file and we're able to play it back in Megalog Viewer software, which is a separate software to evaluate data logs. Or if we're just interested in working with a tuner or somebody like DIY AutoTune that might be providing us tech support for a particular problem that we're having, we have to attach that file to an email. So we have to know where that file is at. If we jump here, I'm gonna go into my folders, into documents. We double click this. We jump down here to Tuner Studio Projects, double click that, and then we're going to be moving down here in all of these different folders, and we can see that my car, which is the project that I created in that previous video, is here. If I double click this, now we see we have a couple other folders here. Specifically, we're looking for data logs. If we click this. This is now going to be that log that we just created. So if we're trying to work with, again, a tech support at DIY AutoTune or maybe a tuner if you're doing a remote tune, you have to be able to email them the actual file. So you go ahead and select this file, you'd attach it to your email, and then you could communicate with someone else and they could see what's going on remotely. So it's gonna be a really valuable tool. Now also, you can take this file and play it back. And again, Megalog Viewer, that's gonna be the evaluation software to look at the data log. So whether you want to, again, email or you want to go in and use that Megalog Viewer, your file's gonna be located right here. And it's a pretty simple and straightforward process to create the data log. So hopefully this video, this video was really helpful in creating a data log, taking a data log, and now you know where to find it. Again, if you need to work with a tuner or tech support, you're going to be able to do that, and it's a really, really simple process. Okay, so that wraps up our video. Make sure you check out all the videos we have in our Megasquirt's basic course. Now, if you want to learn beyond the basics, you want to learn how to tune with your Megasquirt, check out evansperformanceacademy.vhxtv. That's going to be where we have our Megasquirt training course. It's going to be going over all the details you need to know in order to properly tune your Megasquirt, as well as many other engine management systems. So hopefully you check that out, and I'll be able to see you guys in class.